Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at an app called Meteor. Now this is an app for iOS and it's um, it's available for the iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch and it requires iOS 9.3 or later and it's not optimised for the iPad so it just means that it will work on your iPad but it won't take up all the space and it will look like a sort of blown up iPhone app. Now Meteor is an app that's designed to help you determine how well various common apps will work based on your current low internet connection speed and strength. So this is an ideal app if you perhaps travel a lot and you need to be able to know what, what apps that you use will work and how well they'll work on the current network. So it's an app which can help you with that and I'll leave a link in the description of the video to where you can go ahead and download it for free from the App Store. So I've got it here, I'm just going to tap to launch it. Uh, this is the main page that you get presented with. So at the top you can see I have the network I'm connected to, just my home network and from there I can go to where it says start testing. So if I tap on start testing uh, you'll see it's going to start giving me a, a connection speed so right now it's giving me my speed it's just measuring it you can see similar to how an app like speed test would do it usually I get sort of near 70 but I'm in a particular part of the house where the Wi-Fi connection isn't particularly good so that's why you're getting these results up here so you can see I've got my download my upload and my ping so the ping was obviously not as good as the other two uh, the ping was actually quite slow, but it's described as very good here. But you can see down here at the bottom, we've got the apps that I've currently got set up with it. So we've got Facebook, very good. WhatsApp, very good. Twitter, awesome. And Instagram, very good. So it means that these apps will work well. So in terms of uploading photos, sending messages, tweeting or sharing things on Instagram, it's saying that you're going to get very good experience in those areas with this app. What I can do is I can go here to add more apps, so these aren't just the only apps. If I go here you can see we've got a whole load of other apps that we can choose from. So say if I watch a lot of YouTube on the move and I want to just find out how I'm going to be able to use that um, on various network conditions. I can tap that to add it, or say I need to access files a lot uh, through Dropbox, I can tap to add Dropbox through there. And at the bottom here, if there's an app you want to have requested to be added to this service, then you can just tap Request More Apps and then you can contact the developer and obviously get them to help you out with that. But for now, let me just go back to uh, the main screen by tapping Done at the top. And I've got my back to my main screen so you can see I've got the other apps that I added in just sitting there. I've got Dropbox and uh, YouTube here. So you can see it's updated the status for those. Dashboard will just show me the locations that I've used the app with. If I go to history, you can see uh, my history. In fact, I'll show you what I did earlier. Um, you can see I got much better scores here. So I got 65 down, 16 up. So the up sort of stays the same. But I got 84 ping, 84 milliseconds on the ping, which is obviously a lot better than the 295 I got earlier uh, but you get the idea so this app can just help you with that and then you've got your settings here and just location settings that you can set options for feedback uh, you know whether you want to give feedback to the developers but anyway that's it for this video it's just a quick little app which can help you with checking whether certain apps will work well and how well they'll work again if you're a traveler and if you use various apps a lot social networking or Dropbox or whatever then an app like this is definitely going to be helpful in helping you determine what you can do and what you can't do but that's it for this video if you've got any questions or comments then do leave them in the description of this video or you can get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video don't forget to like, comment and please also do subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen. Do consider watching the videos that are either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.